Hello and welcome to episode 61 of the Witch and Needs podcast. I'm Shai, I'm a witch and I knit and I spin, I crochet, I do art and all kinds of artsy crafty stuff and I like to sit down here on this channel, talk about it every now and then to you guys and yeah today we are back with a new episode. I am really excited to be filming a new podcast episode. It's been a couple of weeks since my last podcast episode. There's been other videos but not a podcast and I'm excited to talk about what I've been working on. So <laughs> uh, a very warm welcome back to you if you are a returning viewer and a very very warm welcome to you if you are new here. There's been quite a few people trickling in over the past couple of weeks and yeah, I am a little bit overwhelmed, but also very, very grateful for each and every one of you who's been watching and deciding to stick around to see what else I upload in the future. So thank you so, so much for clicking the button to subscribe and being here and watching. And yeah, thank you. I'm just really, really grateful. I hope you'll all like it here. It is a new podcast. Sorry about the lighting, by the way. Um, I've got my lighting here and I've got a wall of windows there and we have intermittent clouds today so the sun like comes and goes and messes with my setup so uh, very sorry if things suddenly blow out I'll try to do my best to counter that but yeah it's, it's going to be a bit messy with the lighting I think hopefully not hopefully we'll just have this <laughs> but anyway we have a new podcast I'm really excited to be here to talk about what I've been working on because I do have quite a few things to talk about I don't have an awful lot of projects but I do have I have a few but <laughs> I do have uh, quite a few things that I have been doing working on and yeah um so yeah let's let's get into talking about fluffy stuff shall we grab a drink or a snack and maybe a knitting i've got a cheeky monster today we got the my friend told me to get the pink one and uh we didn't have it but now we do have it in sweden so i'm happy i've got the pink monster today so i'm going to be caffeinating properly <laughs> but yeah grab something and let's get into talking about all things knitting and fluff because I do have, spoiler warning, quite a bit of fluff. So um, let's start with whips. Oh my god the sun. <laughs> let's start with whips. I have, I have more whips than I've got in front of me. Like for instance that bag back there which contains my gold wing jumper that is currently in time out and if you want to know why <laughs> you can watch last week's well not last week's not my last podcast episode up there I talk about my gold ring and why it's in time out and yeah I am 90% sure I'm ripping it out and possibly re-knitting that one in the future with probably a different yarn and I need to remath the whole thing and just move stuff around and I'm I'm not there mentally at the moment so yeah uh, all about that there and I will talk about what I actually have been working on <laughs> instead of uh, that project that you can't see. Um, so first of all I've got in here in my hilltop bag that I made if you want to make if you want to make your own hilltop bag you can find the pattern in the description it is on my Kofi. it is free unless you want to pay then you can but it's free if you want to make a bag of, like this I also have a video of the bag but there are so many cards up here now but anyway um in my hilltop bag with bits on it lives a project that is straight off of my queue for this year which I am excited about I made a queue that is my make nine list for this year and I've actually started on my make nine list already. I talked about this one last time as well so it's not new if you watch that but oh no I'm in the middle of a row. Okay so um, that's fine. 
this is going to be a cardigan. This is the Great Love Cardigan by Anchor Strick. And like I said, I'm in the middle of a row, so, and it's going to take forever to finish this row, so I'm not going to do that as I'm talking. But I've got, that's a suit, it's black yarn, you can't see anything. But that's a sleeve, I've got a bit over 10 centimeters past the sleeve. Um, and yeah, it is a, I don't know if you can, let's see if we can up the, there we go. It is a textured pattern with a like staggered ribbing sort of thing. And it's got a collar that goes around, well, not around here because it's a cardigan, but around the neck, as collars do. I am chaotic today, I am so very sorry. Complete goblin mode in my brain. Um, excuse me. But yes, it is, it is a cardigan in progress. And yeah, I am really excited about this one. I think this will turn out very, like, flowy. I'm knitting it in, I'm knitting it in yarn that is a little bit thinner than the pattern calls for. So you can see it's, it's slightly see-through, which I intended to do because I have this, um, I have this cardigan that is like that, but it sits so weird. Like the seams that sit down here and it makes your arms just look really weird. So I don't like wearing that. And I also have a second cardigan that's about the same model is this? I uh, This is the uh, promo pics of the pattern um, so you can see what, I, what, what this is going to grow up to be <laughs> um, because this is completely like you can't you can't tell it's just a big black blob but anyway I have a cardigan similar to this that I have owned for probably 12 years or something and it is literally falling apart and yeah it's it's time to um retire that one so i wanted to make one similar to it and of course it has to be black because i wear mainly black clothes this is the yarn it is knit out of campus two ply which is swedish wool quite soft bit rustic very nice non super wash to ply wool <laughs> and uh, yeah I know I said soft and rustic in the same sentence but it is soft and it is kind of rustic so um, yeah <laughs> you know you know the, the type but yeah that is my great love by anchor Strick, and it will very soon have to move out of this bag and into a bigger bag <laughs> because it is it is very tight in here now. My next whip lives in my Cats and Pumpkins bag and it is one of my designs. I have not put a lot of extra work in this since I last showed it but it is going to be my Mantis cowl. That is a design I am working on. Um, so yeah, uh, it is so far <laughs> not looking like a lot, but it, I'll show that part because it has the stripes. I will get the swatch for the pattern. So this is the pattern idea. It is a stylized mantis. So yeah, it's going to have this one and then this is just half the chart it's inverted so it's going to have that inverted and then a third mantis on top and yeah I haven't gotten haven't gotten very far but I have been working quite monogamously on a now FO that I will show you in a second but yeah <laughs> and also on the uh, anger strike cardigan so yeah um, hopefully putting some more work in this over the next couple of weeks so maybe I can finish it and start writing uh, a first draft because I am excited about this. This is a very thin 
cowls. It's going to be spring friendly. Um, knitting it out of Istex Inband in this wonderful lime, but I would say guacamole colour, and <laughs> uh, this wonderful purple that I would almost call avocado skin colour. <laughs> so uh, basically, <laughs> uh, I am knitting with avocado colours. But yeah. That's that one. Not a lot to see yet, but I am excited about it. So yeah, imagine imagine this, but in avocado colours. I actually put that in the bag so they can live together like that. So those are my whips, or well, knitted whips, I should say. I do have some whips that aren't knitted, but I will go into FOs first and then move on to other crafts. So in here lives a an FO <laughs> that you have seen on the channel because I did upload a video of me knitting it last Friday um, on release day for the pattern. If you want to watch me knit from undyed yarn to finished cowl, that was a spoiler. Uh, go up there and click. Uh, I'm going heavy with the cards today, <laughs> sorry, but yeah, it's up there if you want to see it. Uh, this is the Al Nouveau Cowl by Hunt Hand Knits on Instagram and Ravelry, and it is so good. I love it. I love it so much. I dyed this, this caramel colour with onion skins, red and yellow, mostly yellow onion skins, and the other, yeah, and this is how much I have left, uh, and this is just undyed yarn. Um, I was originally going to knit with avocado dyed uh, yarn for the light colour, but it was too similar, so they just bled together. So I swapped it for undyed, but yeah, this is, um, this is the Owl Cowl and I am super happy with it. It is so pretty. I love Art Nouveau and Art Deco aesthetic and yeah, he doesn't love owls too. So yeah, I am really happy I got to test this pattern. I can highly recommend it. It's out on Ravelry now, so you can go and get it if you want. Like I said, by Hunt and Knits, I will have it linked in the show notes, as per usual. As with everything else I talk about in this episode, it will be linked below. So yeah, you can go and grab your own owl pattern and make a cow, an owl cow. So yeah, um, somebody commented on that video saying their only gripe with my video was me not modelling it. In my defence, when I knit this, I was dealing with a two and a half week-ish flu and I was feeling really, really not good. So <laughs> um, that is why it wasn't modelled in the video because I just did not have time to, um, after I got better, uh, I needed that week to edit because I had a bunch of stuff going on that week as well. So sadly, I had no time to actually model it before release day, but I will make you happy and put it on. So there we have the owl cow worn. So there you go. It is super squishy and super cozy. I love it so much. So yeah, that is that is the cow, and it is finished, and and modelled. <laughs> but yeah, I agree. I should I should have modelled it for the video. But like I said, I was not very well as I was filming that, and sadly I ran out of time. But yes, that is my one fo. For today. So with that out of the way uh, we can move on to other crafts and I do have some other crafts to talk about today. We will start with, no actually I do have more knitting 
but I will talk about that later. Um, it is funny to me that, and I promise that this ties in, it is funny to me that my, one of my very, like, best, my most, one of my most popular videos that I uploaded to this channel ever is, I think, episode 36 of the podcast, uh, which is, like, me talking about my crochet project that I had at the time, but I still have because I still didn't buy the white yarn to do the border uh, for my <laughs> nature's walk blanket, but it's almost finished. Anyway, um, that video, uh, I don't always crochet, but when I do, uh, <laughs> is sort of my most popular podcast episode. I think YouTube likes pushing that one. I don't know why, maybe it has a good thumbnail or something. And also, since it's got a lot of views, it stays in the algorithm, I guess. But it is like that. I don't always crochet, but when I do, I crochet a lot. Because it's just so addictive when I actually get into it. I'm like crocheting that is not really my thing and then I crochet something because I get a fun little idea and then I just keep going and I fall down a deep deep crochet rabbit hole and I that also happened during my two week flu that I had then and dealt with I felt like absolute I'm not going to say the word um and yeah, I, I couldn't do anything. I was in bed. I was like, what? David was sick at the same time. So we stayed in bed and we watched playthroughs of stuff on YouTube. And the th only thing I had brain space for <laughs> was crochet because I needed to do something with my hands. I wasn't feeling well, but I was feeling well enough to do something. But I couldn't brain knitting and I didn't want to draw. And yeah, crochet crochet happened so and this was also over valentine's day so my inspiration was heart granny squares and i made a bunch of these heart granny squares in pink and yellow like that and also pink and yellow like this and i've got one lonely crochet heart that needs a square um i've got a bunch of those and I've got a bunch of these grannies with just the pink and yellow and I've got a bunch of just plain pink and just plain yellow and I am thinking what the heck do I want to do with these and I might do a cardigan maybe I don't know it's like it's not colors I typically wear but I'm thinking about bringing in red I don't know, for like the button band and cuffs and stuff. Um, maybe. Also, like complete, I don't know, this is such a not me project. It's acrylic yarn to begin with. I was walking past the store and I just went in to look if they had anything and they only carry, <laughs> they only carry um, acrylic and I, yeah, I, I needed yarn that day, so acrylic it was. <laughs> I think I will need more soon. I've got this much left, but it's starting to be quite, you know, it's these kinds of balls full of air. But yeah, I'm going to need more yarn for a jumper or a cardigan, but yeah. Um, such, such a not me project, but it's been really fun. I haven't worked on it. For quite some time now because you know um, I, I get really into crochet and I crochet really intensely for a few days and then I just don't touch it for a really long time and then I get into crocheting again I did actually also crochet most of most of a really small crochet blanket for the doll that's sitting there. Yeah, I've been, I've been crocheting. I don't always crochet, but when I do, I crochet a lot. So, <laughs> that was my rabbit hole number one. And right now, after this past weekend, that I will talk about in a bit, I am very, very, very firmly down a spinning rabbit hole. So, uh, this happened before that, but 
Um, when I also dyed the yarn for the owl cow, um, yes, we're moving into spinning. Um, when I dyed that yarn, I also dyed some fluff. So I have this. This is my first of three plies um, that I am going to be plying together for a three ply yarn. <laughs> I'm so sorry about my brain. Oh dear, this is awful. I try my best, but <laughs> my brain is fried. I've been away from home over the weekend and I've got so much in my brain at the moment that I, I just can't. I'm so sorry, but anyway, I've spun this. This I spun on the wheel that's sitting behind me and I am maybe today actually starting the second ply. I've got the fluff over here that I will show you. So this is the fluff. If I can... There we go. This is... I dyed this. I over dyed the, like the, um, the actual fluff. I've got some here as well. Uh, I've, the actual... The actual fluff looks like this, so uh, I over dyed it with like red and orange and some yellow. Um, and this, I've got this here because I am spinning it because I got a new spindle. And I'm really excited, really, really excited. It is a Turkish spindle and it's so dinky, it's so small, I love it. It's a 3D printed little Turkish spindle and it's slightly glittery and it's adorable and I love it and it spins really well. Um, I just had some of this laying around and I wanted to just try it instantly when I came home with it. So uh, yeah, I've got some very fine yarn because apparently I can only spin fine yarn um, on this at the moment and yeah. I'm really, really happy. <laughs> but yeah, this I got over the weekend. I do have one more spinning thing to talk about, but um, before I move on to the haul, but I got this over the weekend and I will talk about it again in a minute. Uh, my last spinning project that I am working on, you've seen before as well, but it is the grey and black and red merino silk spin. And I am almost, almost through the second ply now. And I am excited to almost be done. I really want to finish this. I've got a bag full of fluff. But I really want to finish what I'm working on before starting that. So, yeah. Almost done with this. I will try to um, work through as much as I can this week because I want to finish it. I spent all evening yesterday spinning and it was wonderful. So yeah, just mentioning that quickly because you've seen it so many times because I'm excited and I want to talk about my stash and husbands. So over the weekend my sister-in-law and I went to a sheep and wool festival in a different part of Sweden. <laughs> it's I think three and a half hours away from where we live so we had a lovely road trip and we also stayed the night and had two wonderful days at the Sheep and Wool Festival for Fest Isil. We've been once before um, in 2020 right before the Panini hit um, so we went there and then like a couple of weeks after everything went ham so there's not been a four fest issue since until this year and we decided to go and I'm really happy we did because it was a wonderful time and I've got I've got loot <laughs> maybe I've gone a little bit overboard um, no I don't think I have I, I could have come on with more but I didn't because yeah anyway um I've got stuff lots of stuff so um, I'm going to start with yarn because I have less of that um, first of all I got this wonderful skein of yarn which is Crowdale sock 
uh, Corydale and Nylon AT20, which is in a wonderful pink and green and brown and undyed slash white colourway. And the first thing I said, um, which was what popped into my mind when I saw it, was oh my god cherry blossoms. And the lady who dyed this and sold it was like, oh yes, that was exactly the inspiration. So it, it had to follow me home because it was beautiful and I adore cherry blossoms. It's one of my very favourite things in the whole world there <laughs> is cherry blossoms. So yeah, I've got cherry blossom yarn. This this is like the kind kind of skein that you don't really want to use because it's pretty, but maybe it will be a sock or a little shawl or something. It's so pretty, so pretty. I love it. And then I have yarn for a pro. I have a project for this. Actually, this is by Moods of Colours, and it is the. Uh, this one didn't have a colourway name. It's just a, just this liquefy, and all of them said liquefy, uh, which is like happy or lucky colour, depending on what you want to say. Anyway, um, this is Moods of Colours Soft Sock uh, 7525 Merino Nylon uh, in Dusk Lavender Moods, and I bought this to be the contrast colour in my X-Shell and I'm really excited for that. So it's going to be black, hopefully a tonal black if I can get my hands on it or dye it up and this will be all of the moons and stars and sparklies in the X-Shell and I am so excited. This is the X-Shell if you haven't seen it before. It is in my queue for this year and I will cast it on as soon as I have the main colour. And I'm so excited because I've been wanting to knit that one for so many years now. Since I started, like since that one came out basically. So yeah, excited because I have this. I bought this. This was, this was a treat because this is slightly out of my own budget but it's I, I had to because uh, all of all of the Moods of Colours yarns are beautiful and I wanted to get this for my shell so yeah very happy for this then I have so much fluff oh my goodness I have two braids of undyed Corydale from for before I bought dyed fluff from them last time. It is a skein on spun. It's this skein. Um, it's from them. But I wanted to get some undyed because I want to try and dye dye this myself. My sister in law also got undyed braids from them, so we're gonna have a gonna have a yarn dyeing party someday. Um, but oh fibre dye. Anyway, um got two of those. So we'll see what I come up with for that. I want to do something purple, maybe, for one? I, I don't know. We'll see. Exciting. It's very, very soft. And then I got some fin ul, which is super, super soft. Just undyed brown sheep's wool from fin ul sport. Um, so yeah, 100 grams of that that I'm going to be spinning and then I want to knit a pair of mittens and probably felt them, I think I want to do with this. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, it's very, very soft and it's a natural, natural fibre <laughs> in just a fluff, fluff bag. So I'm going to be carding it and stuff. So yeah, excited. It is super soft. But yeah, not not a lot to see. Maybe it's it's brown, brown fluff. Wish you could feel it through the camera, but sadly that does not work. And then, of course, the spindle. I got the spindle. Um, I spent the entire first day. Well, we were there for a few hours because we arrived kind of late three years ago. They had them everywhere, and of course, because they had them everywhere three years ago. So you gotta have them this year, right? But anyway, 
<laughs> I spent the entire first day searching and almost the entire second day searching for these and in the end I did finally find them in the least expected booth because I saw a lady, well the lady who had the booth was spinning on one and she was standing in front of them so I didn't see them but she moved and there they were so I got one <laughs> I was super excited and just so happy. It's such a small thing, but uh, yeah, I, I had decided on this year I'm getting a Turkish spindle and it was like the one thing I really went there for. Not really. I, I went there to shop for wool, but I really wanted to get one of these and I did. So I am really excited. So now I need to learn how to properly do the yarn thing the turtle thing, um, I don't think I got it quite right but it spins beautifully and I'm really really happy and yeah I was like I was so excited to actually find it so yeah can't wait to start a fun little project on this one I don't, don't know what I will make but yeah this is just to get the hang of it I will spin something proper on this later but yeah I got that and then I got a bunch of other stuff all of the rest of the stuff is from the same vendor first of all I got this uh, it's all by Skovmosa by hand and I will try to link all of the sellers also in the description uh, I don't know if everybody sells internationally but um, at least you can check them out. So I got this wool mix, um, it's mystery wool I guess, uh, which is saved wool from spinning machines. <laughs> I don't know, uh, but yeah I got that because it's a really pretty colour and I want to. Uh, I do have maybe 80 grams of black merino, just plain black merino and I want to mix this in with that and make a black and pink, pinkish purple yarn. So I got that and I also got this which is an art bat from also from School Muscle by Hand and it has um, it is 86 grams of merino and sorry silk, viscose and angelina and I am so so pumped to spin this. I want to spin it because it's an art that I want to try and make some art yarn. I have yet to try that and this little friend doesn't have a very big orifice so I can't really I like the kind of art yarn that has a lot of like you know beehive swirls and stuff I don't know if I can do that but I did get the tip from the sellers that you can spin it together with silk thread and stuff so I'm I'm gonna play around with this and see what I make I don't know what it'll be but there's so many pretty colours and it has Angelina fibre in it and it's just I had to have this. I'm really excited. So I got that and then I got some some marshmallow fluff. It is so pretty. It's uh, Pearl Amour is the colourways, the mother of pearl, which is also merino. This is uh, just merino tops. 25 grams so I will make something small with that. I'm going to make a mini screen. Maybe that will go on the Turkish spindle. This I just want to spin as it is because it is so pretty. I know it's similar to what to something I've spun before, my pastel rainbow, but it is I had to. <laughs> it is so cute. So I will spin that soon. And I got some sari silk as well. So this is 10 grams of sari silk that I can add to 
other spinning projects as well and I'm really really excited to do that as well. We spent so long talking to these lovely lovely ladies from School Muscle by Hand. They were so good. <laughs> Super lovely um, and we both learned a lot about spinning and weaving and we like talked about all kinds of all kinds of crafty stuff. Um, basically the kind of yarn lady I aim to be when I am older. <laughs> so this is a lot actually. 10 grams of this is a lot and will go a very long way. So I'm really excited to add this to future projects. And last but not least, um, that's just a second, um, second um, spindle part for the Turkish spindle. Um, last but not least, also from School Muscle by Hand, I got three little bags of different pinks of Angelina fibre to add to future spinning projects as well. Maybe I will add some to this spin. This will be with black yarn. Um, I think I will. Actually, I think I will add some to that yarn. So yeah, that's my entire haul. And I, I look at it now and realise I have only bought stuff that is pastel or pink, except for the brown fluff. And that is extremely on brand for me. This is like how I like to look, but everything I own is pink. <laughs> All of my stuff is like pastel and pink and cute. I am a sucker for cute. I have a Sylvanian family's play, uh, play set over there that's like a fun fair, which is pastel. And I have a massive collection of My Little Ponies, if you're new here and don't know yet. I have over 300 My Little Ponies. And yeah, <laughs> I love pink, I love cute stuff. But yeah, this is like the biggest haul I've had. Ever, I think, um, on this channel, my haul from the um, other f uh, the, from the sewing festival in autumn was also pretty hefty, but not at all as hefty as. And I am really excited to have a lot of stuff to work on with spinning. I've been in a bit of a spinning rut, and now I feel like I want to spin all the stuff. So I'm really excited to finish some stuff. I'm really excited to finish some spinning projects so I can get going with the new shiny, shiny, sparkly new projects. It is exciting and I'm very happy and we had a great time. And I can't wait to go back next year and buy even more fibre. <laughs> I maybe should have vlogged going but I just wanted to be there in the moment. It's like, I am bad at vlogging, going to like happenings. I sort of feel a bit awkward and also I kind of lose focus and then I forget to film and stuff. So I, th this time I just really wanted to go and be there. But next time, especially if we go an extra day, I will try to vlog. But yeah, um, that is what I have been doing <laughs> lately. I also do have some bonus projects. Speaking of cute stuff, because I collect cute stuff. Um, if you have been on my channel for a while, you have seen this, this little person before, uh, but she usually has red hair. This is my Asian ball jointed doll that I have had since 20... 11 I think. I, I used to own a bunch but this is the one I have left and I recently also uh, while sick I fell down a bunch of fun little rabbit holes and one of them was falling back in love with the BJD hobby and I have made a little cardigan for her and I have made it's not finished, it's gonna have a little collar and stuff, but I have made a little top. I have made a little wig. It is not perfect. It is not very good at all, and it's definitely not properly styled. Um, this is 
just flying away and stuff. But this is actually mohair. No, it's not mohair, it's alpaca. Um, and I am very, very excited to soon be making a new little face makeup for her. It's called a face up if you're not a doll person. Um, excited to make a new face up soon. And yeah, she's adorable. I've ordered new eyes and yeah, I'm, I'm redoing her style a little bit. She's been looking the same all these years, so it is time for a, for a little change up. And yeah, I, I have made stuff for her, like a very small cardigan out of, that is my hair, uh, my hair silk in two different colours. So yeah, maybe this will also be a, a human sized cardigan at some point, because I kind of want one, <laughs> but yeah, I did that. Um, it has been fun. I needed stuff to do and I, when I started feeling better and could brain knitting again, this was exactly what I had the energy for. So I made that and I'm excited and the lighting right now is very bright. There we go. So yeah, um, very non-matchy shorts, but I'll, I'll get there. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I have way too many hobbies, way, way, way too many hobbies, but this is one of them. Um, this, this hobby has been, well, inactive since 2014, 15, probably 14. I used to be very, very active in that hobby and like, uh, do face ups on commission and make lots of clothes. And I, like I said, I owned... At one point I, I had five other dolls except for this one um, and then for the for most of the years that I owned dolls uh, I owned three other dolls except for her um, and I sold them when I quit the hobby and I am sad about that because I kind of want them back <laughs> oh, good god but yeah, um, maybe one day I will have another doll as well because I I have I have this problem with you know how like I struggle a lot with um, dissociative stuff and one common thing that people do is they buy stuff and don't remember buying it and then they have a bunch of stuff that they don't know where, the, where it came from. Um, I have the opposite problem where <laughs> where I get rid of stuff and don't remember doing it and I'm certain I'll never use it again. And this is also how I sold most of my pony collection way back in the day. Um, and that that is that's been a smaller like it's not at all a smaller cost or a smaller like task to rebuy but you can buy a pony every now and then um these are a bit harder to come by because it's a much smaller hobby and not for kids you know it's ponies are like something you can find in op shops because kids have them um these dolls cost quite a bit of money. Some of them are worth like a thousand. Um, not ones I want, but some of them are very expensive. So um, it feels sort of like unattainable to get what I had back, but maybe one day I can. But yeah, um, I ended up selling most of my pony collection, maybe also in like 2011, 12, somewhere. And yeah, I've, I've got I've got it back now. Well, not the same horses, but most of the ones I had that I sold and wanted back, I have again now. But yeah, um, that that is an annoying thing that I sometimes do, and uh, now I'm not allowing myself to get rid of stuff without running it by David. Because this is also how I got rid of all of my Lolita clothing. Because that's another hobby I've been in and I want to be in, but 
Those are also very expensive. Lilith dresses are super expensive and I don't have that kind of money. But I did own quite a few and I thought I was done with the hobby and lifestyle, like clothing interest. I thought I was just plain done. Um, no, I was not. But I was when I got rid of, but yeah, you know. Um, maybe you don't, but that happens and it's annoying and yeah, I don't get rid of stuff without David checking in with me now. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Anyway, that was a tangent and a half. So that has been, I think, all of the things I had to talk about today. I have stuff I want to start soon, like the shell and a bunch of spinning, and I have stuff I need to be working on. I also really need to pick up older designs that I am still working on, and I need to start writing writing some patterns, because it's it's been quite a while since I did anything with any of my designs, and I kind of want to get back into that. But yeah. That's about all I had, I think, today. So I will just keep rambling if I keep filming. So I think I will end it here and let you get on with your day. And I will get on with mine and do some spinning, <laughs> I think. As always, everything I have been talking about will be linked in the description. Like all of the vendors that I can find with weapons, with websites and stuff, I will have that linked. Keep in mind, maybe not everyone is international with the sales, but I will link everyone in a way that I can find. And yeah, thank you all so, so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this slightly chaotic episode of the Witch and Its podcast. I don't really know where my brain was today. I am very sorry about any well, chaos. <laughs> so again, thank you so much for watching and again, thank you to everybody who's been subscribing over the past few weeks. It is absolutely lovely to have you here. I hope you like it here on the channel. If you haven't but would like to keep seeing what I get up to on the channel, please consider clicking the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified of whenever I upload a new video. Please also like the video if you liked it, leave a little comment down below, well about anything you want to talk about or yeah, <laughs> leave a comment if you have something to talk about uh, and also my patterns and well not my patterns but uh, well my my Ravelry patterns are also linked below, but I was going to talk about my bag pattern, like I said earlier, is linked down below as well. It is a link to my Kofi, where you can also, if you want, leave support for the channel. Everything that is donated on there goes directly into content and also set up for filming. <laughs> filming setup, gaming setup, because uh, uh, I have a goal to uh, start streaming here as well and yeah um, that is completely optional but the option is there if you want yeah I've got downloadable content on there that is free anyway uh, if you want it so yes and I'm also thinking about doing some Bujo downloads for monthlies as well um, I was going to this month, but I ran out of time. So maybe for next month, there will be a monthly downloadable, printable as well. But anyway, that is a lot of talk about that. Again, thank you so much for watching and being here. And yeah, have a wonderful, wonderful time until the next time I see you in another video. And yeah, stay safe, stay warm and cozy, knit stuff, make stuff and yeah, I will see you again very, very soon. Have a great time. Bye.